Hello, hello guys, this is Pokemon Intelligent Tips with another video. And before you move into the real deal, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you have any questions, you can ask us in the comments, or even better, join us on Facebook, the link is in the description below. Uh, before we start, I'm really sorry guys, I have not been that uh, available these days, uh, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I got a breeder today, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos, so don't... Uh, be uh, a bit surprised if you see a lot of Hoopa events in the upcoming month in my videos. So uh, today, as promised, I think I, I was going to go through uh, the skill breakthrough and go through all of these since uh, a lot of you can't actually see the skill breakthrough, I think, of Pokemons that you don't have. Uh, so I am going to show you guys all these skills one by one. Uh, in this video, so that's what we are trying to do. So let's start with the uh, Fey God, uh, I hate his name, Xerneas or whatever. So you can see here uh, we have Moonblast and I don't think it does change into, it just changed into uh, a bug type basically. Yeah, it does not uh, change that much. Just, I don't think it's it can hit, uh, it can hit flying anymore. So uh, you might want to just keep the fair one. Uh, the poison jab, this one becomes grass, so uh, not really interesting since grass is not that great in the game. Bug might be okay, but fair is still pretty good. So uh, this one doesn't change. This one here, Mrs. Ruin, uh, gets a special effect, which I think recommend to get actually, because uh, that's the best one. This, yeah, definitely get the new Mrs. Uh, there and increase idle Pokemon 50%, P defense, special defense, and whatever. So I'm just gonna show it right now, and you guys can stop the video and check it out if you want. So that's pretty much it. And uh, this one, which is in grain, actually gets a special effect as well. Uh, so these two are really interesting for for. For uh, Xen, uh, it's just make him super OP. So uh, the, if you can get this one and this one, it's basically perfect. Then yeah, the last one doesn't actually change. Okay, so let's move on to Jirashi that gets another skill breakthrough. Uh, let's look at these. I have not to be honest. So deal uh, steel type and clear enemy old rage. This skill has ability to attack enemy in the air. And now it becomes a deal steel type, clear en enemy all rage, cannot recover for three rounds. I think that's uh, that's great. You cannot recover rage for three rounds. That's super OP. Uh, then this skill has ability to attack enemy in the air. So yeah, great. Try to get this one. I mean, it's super nice. Uh, this is his normal attack. Uh, it gets special effect as well. Now it, it decreased the rage by 20% and increased self something, self little rage. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it increased self rage by some number that I have no clue about since it's in Chinese probably. So, uh, oh, uh, and this one is headbutt psychic type. It's basically the same, I think, as this one. Uh, except that this is psychic and this is normal. So I would go with the psychic actually. I would do, I will really go with the psychic if I had to, to change this. Uh, since normal type attacks do, don't, do not work against ghost. And if you plan to use him with, for example, Yuxi, having a psychic move would be good. Okay, next one. Based on 18% HP, give a shield, it gets a power up now uh, and increase some ray. Okay, which power up does it give? I don't see any power ups. Do you guys do? Increase 396. Yep, looks the same to me. Increase some range, increase some range. Who knows what these people are talking about? Well, yeah, I have no clue what this, this thing uh, increases. Okay, so let's go for the next one. Uh, trick Room, steal enemy 15% speed and turn it into team special speed. Yeah, so this one I think it gives attack as well. Uh, yeah, I've turned 20% uh, 
in the teammates Pierre Hakan special attack. So yeah, but uh, this is good, I think. Yeah, since uh, especially with, uh, with for Pokemon that use uh, Thunder set, so this is super nice. So instead of giving speed, it gives attack, uh, which is still okay. So I still I would recommend this as well. Okay, the passive in the battle all in the dark Pokemon with degrees 50% rage, a shield, based on 20% HP, increase 20% special attack and P attack. Okay, during the battle, any Pokemon, blah, 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 50% rage, and all allied Pokemon receive a shield and decrease again 20%. Doesn't seem, uh, seems okay. And this one increase. 5% special attack and 3% speed for 10 rounds. So 30% speed and uh, basically 50% special attack up to 10 times. Yeah, this is this is uh, great. This is just great. So you should actually go for, if I had to choose uh, setup, I would go for True Eye and I would go for Trick Room. Then I will go for uh, Zen, Zen Headbutt and then Doom Desire. So that's the plan. Okay, let's move on to Bulu. Uh, in the case of Bulu, uh, we have, uh, what do we have here? Poison Jab. This is a grass type Pokemon. And uh, you can see here that it deals bleeding for three rounds. It cannot be healed or steal HP. It turns 50% damage into self HP. So uh, here it deals bug type P attack damage. Three rounds that cannot be healed or steal HP turn 50% damage into self HP. So it calls fighting typing damage. Uh, now it turns into grass, which is good. Uh, now it turns into dark, which is even better. So I think you can go for dark since it's uh, kind of good against uh, some Pokemons right there. So especially against psychic Pokemons. And here you have uh, Substitute, the buff, it gets a special effect that you should actually go for. So definitely go for this one. And uh, Nature Madness gets a buff as well, or more of a power up that you should actually get as well. And the passive as well, you should go for it. So during the battle, Top of Bullet will decrease all grass enemy type uh, by 20% skill and increase 5% P attack. So you should definitely go for that as well. So these are Bulu skills. So if I had again to choose, I would uh, take the Mega Horn. It's not a problem. Uh, then uh, the Dark type attack, the Substitute, of course. Then, yeah, Nature Madness, the power up, and at the end, Swarm, the ability. Now let's move to Fimosa. Fimosa. Even though I do not like her that much, since she's really squishy, you need a lot of, uh, you need uh, kind of a lot of strike cards on her. So her main skill is fighting special attack, reduce fifteen percent speed for three rounds, and now with the high jump kick, you get deal fighting special attack damage and speed decrease for three rounds. So uh, now you get twenty percent instead of fifteen, right? Yep. And uh, this thing is a bug type, the speed decrease. So uh, either you go for bug or fighting. So it really depends on what are you using. If you are using her with SOG, you definitely go for fighting. If you are not, then just go for bug. Then uh, you have uh, lunge, cause bug type, special damage, uh, P defense, special defense decrease 10% for three rounds after release. Uh, and it becomes called bug type damage 100% power. So I don't think this is a, there is no special effect. So yeah, I would definitely stay with this one. It's P defense. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. So now it, it's P defense and, uh, and doesn't decrease. So you should definitely go for the new one. Yes, definitely. Definitely go for the new one. Uh, because it, the, the P defense and special defense decrease is kind of bad for Femosa. So she's already squishy. Okay, so uh, let's see the agility. Increase 30% speed for self and 30% chance to move again after each move in three rounds. Uh, now we have uh, increased 30% speed. Now we have either quick 
Quiver Dance, increase 30% special attack, 30% speed for 3 rounds. Or uh, Frozen Ray deals ice top damage after each release, skill power increase 20% for 5 rounds. Oh, this is good. So, this is really good. Uh, you get 100% power, uh, power increase after 5 rounds. That's uh, that's going to be super OP, especially if you pair up with uh, uh, Sword of Justice, for example. Yes, that's going to be super, super OP. But again, uh, Quiver Dance is good as well, since uh, you get 30% uh, special attack and 30% speed for more for 3 rounds. But again, uh, yeah, I think Frozen Ray, I would actually go for Frozen Ray if I had to try the chance. Increase self percent, 5% percent special attack. So during the battle, Famosa has 10% chance to move again after each move during the battle. Increase self, 5% special attack. So I will go for, definitely for Beast Boost, Frozen Ray, Lunge, and uh, Silver Wind, I think, right? Yeah. No, I would go for Fighting, actually. Yes, I would go for fighting, uh, since that would be better if I use her with the Sword of Justice. Okay, now let's go to Articuno, which I don't think you guys are, should be caring about. So let's start again. She called Freeze Enemy, cause high uh, damage, 350 skill power. That's a lot. Whoa, one of the highest skill powers I've seen right now. 350, I think that's a, definitely a bug. 350 Are these people real? It seems 350. Woo! So, uh, she called this just way too strong. The more I know. So yeah, uh, Articuno has one of the highest attacks I've ever seen. 350 skip power. Okay, uh, then it turns into Freeze enemy, if the target is defeated by the skill, recover or rage. So yeah, uh, kind of uh, same as uh, Genesect. But I would still stick with the 350 if that 350 is actually correct. Okay, so the mind reader predicts the full action uh, to ensure your next attack. Hit 60% special defense, improve 60% special defense, and that's uh, pretty much it. And now it becomes recover self 40% rage and increase self 30% special attack for 3 rounds. So I would go for this one, uh, then keep this one here for 350. And imagine if you get uh, 2 or 3 times with this, so that would be OP. But again, it's really hard to get these discs, so I would not recommend that. Frozen Ray, to one enemy causing ice tap damage, 50% chance to make it frozen. Okay, then it turns into attack one enemy with an IC beam causing ice type damage, 60% chance to freeze the enemy. Definitely go for this. Uh, then the last one improves special attack and speed. It becomes during the battle, Articuno will bless ice type and flying type Pokemon with 15 crit damage. During the battle, increase self percent, 5% uh, special attack and speed, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, Articuno can be used now uh, I'm, in a way. Especially with that 350, I did not know that 350 existed for it. So, uh, let's move to Psychonate. So we have to build a wall of crystal to reflect damage for two rounds. Okay, and it might become all idle Pokemon damage taken decrease 50%. Every attack has 60% chance to freeze attacker for two rounds. That's cool. Uh, skill mutation deals all enemy ice tag uh, damage has 60% chance to freeze enemy for one round within three rounds. One For one round within three rounds? Freezing enemy Pokemon each round take 200% special attack damage from circuit. It cannot be removed. So you definitely go for this one. Uh, then you have uh, attack the foe, 100% damage bonus to those in control. Control or under debuff, it becomes uh, attack the foe, did it change? Doesn't seem so, 40, skill power, 70, yeah, just the skill power is more, and now uh, attack the foe, burn enemy each round, those are 6 max, 6% six, uh, max XP for 5 rounds, so I think this is much better, yep, much better. But I think it can be cleared, so uh, 
I would definitely maybe just go with the power up instead. Then you have Frozen Ray. Uh, use I think this Pokemon is is literally like only this one is not changed. So use Frozen Ray to single enemy causing ice type damage and freeze fifty five percent with 55% chance. Okay, target incapable of actions for one round. Okay, we know that. It's frozen. So attack one enemy with one icy beam, uh, damage 50% chance to freeze. Enemy within three rounds, freezer cannot be removed. Okay, at least that's good. Within three rounds, freezing cannot be removed. So that's pretty perfect. So if, uh, I think with this in mind, we can actually go for skull. No, no, we cannot. So yeah, uh, because this is not freezing, it's just burning. So yeah, uh, just stay up with the pop. Then, uh, or you can use darker type damage with decreased target 50% rage. I would still go with the frozen ray. I think it's much better. Uh, then you have Holy Blizzard, strike all enemy, cause ice type damage, and freeze for one route 35% chance. Now it becomes, I think, 40% chance, yes. Or this one, attack all enemies with a gust, uh, blah, blah, blah. Has 40% chance to freeze enemy. Extra target, 10% speed for Tura. That's much better. Uh, it decreased speed, so this is much better. So yeah, I would go for this one here, then this one, then this one, and then this one. If you want to use him, of course. Uh, so now Zapdos, which actually I think got a buffed. Uh, so 105, special effect 170. And it ignores special defense uh, and deals electric type damage. That's pretty OP. This one, skill power 55. So this should be skill power 50, 80. And this deals steel type. Okay. Each release skill power 30% for three rounds. Okay. So that's nice. Up to two, up to what? I thought three times, maybe? Yeah. So definitely go for steel wing. High speed moving, raise 50% of its speed, 10% dodge, lasting for three rounds. So uh, next one is all Isled electric Pokemon. Definitely go for this one. It will buff all Isled Pokemons. Uh, this one fires an electric blast, blah, blah, blah. So this should be a power up. So it, uh, it increased wherever we just saw. And this should be random attack three times, randomly attack three times and cause electric, randomly attack three times. Uh, cause electric damage with 25% chance to palsy. This skill can hit the e, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's the difference mainly? And causes to pulse. You see, yeah, just this will give you a more chance of uh, creating pulse. And it does seem to have lower uh, skill power. And this one makes the same. Does the same thing, 30% chance to paralyze, has more f power, and it's not random. So what's mainly the difference? I don't I don't understand this skill. 30%, 35%, 50%, 45%, 50%, uh, 45%. Uh, it just can hit enemies in the air. That's pretty much uh, the added. So I would not go for that. I would definitely go for for the power up and the last one which is the passive at self uh, p attack and speed and this one is will increase all right electric and flying crit rate or p and increase self speed and five percent so this is definitely much better so i'll go with this one then i will go with the power up i will go with the charge steel wing and finally the zap cannon uh here special effect okay we are almost there guys uh Celestila. Let's see what does Celestila do. Uh, flying, special attack damage, stun enemy for one round, crit rate 150 power. Now it removes all shields, targets, and it removes all shields. Whoa. And it's flying and stun target for one round. This is definitely a good uh, deal because steel type 80. 80. Deal flying, special attack, damage uh, after each release, skill power 20%. So this is, uh, there's a lot of flying type attacks now instead of steel, uh, which is uh, still okay, but uh, I guess uh, the steel abilities were kind of good against fair teams. 
That's what we use Celestila for. Dealing blah blah blah. So I guess uh, you kind of have to keep this uh, deal steel attack here if you want to use it against fairy teams. Uh, and this one normal defy all debuff. Uh, defy all the weight effect and increase 50% uh, speed. Now it becomes uh, remove debuff, recover self 30% max HP. So this is good. Good actually, yeah. Heals itself. Now you will every flying or steel type Pokemon increase their steel at 3% speed and 4% special attack. Definitely go for this. So I'll go for this. This one here. Uh, uh, if you use it against fairy types, st stick to this one, otherwise you can change uh, to Synthesis, then of course change to Air Slash. Palkia. Well, in Palkia's case, what, uh, so this will get a power up, basically, uh, skill power is 140 now. Or mutation, deal dragon type, uh, is this dragon as well? No, this is water, so I, I don't like dragon attacks. Make target bleeding for three rounds, cannot be healed, or steal HP. After releasing, increase all Irish Pokemon speed, or oh, but it increases speed. So yeah, I'll, even the other one increases speed, so... So I would actually still stick with the water. The non-healing would be good, but the dragon type attack is kind of bad against fairy Pokemon. It doesn't work, so... Anyways, let's see. Uh, deals dragon attack, make target bleeding for three rounds, cannot be healed, blah, blah, blah. And this one will deal water type after releasing, hide under water for one round. Definitely go for the... So, okay, so if you go for the power up here, uh, stick with the bleeding. If you go with the bleeding here, go to the water type. So that's the deal so far. Okay, let's see what the, this one does. Deal rock type with high chance of crit. The normal type, 30% uh, chance to make target paralysis. 75. Uh, I would actually go with the paralysis, but it's normal type, so this is rock type. Ah, this is a tough question. I would actually, it really depends on what you get first. Either one would be fine, to be honest. Last one, fighting types, and this becomes fighting types, but removes the shields. Yep, go for this one. Uh, then you have, this is just a power-up, so go for the power-up, of course. Okay, now let's move on to the last one, which should be Dragonite. And uh, just a heads up, there will be a lot of other Pokemons coming up in this uh, skill breakthrough. There should be Yiftal, there should be Dialga, there should be uh, Ray. they should be, by Ray we mean Rayquaza. Uh, yeah, these Pokemons will get Ray, Ray and Yiftal will get some good skills actually. Uh, Dialga not that much, uh, but yeah, a uh, Ray Q as well will be coming soon. Ray Q will make him actually very good for Electric Team. So uh, let's see this guy. So this is just a power up again. So whoa, skill power two hundred five. Unleash blah blah blah. But it stuns uh, into stun after a release, so yeah, but he stuns himself. Then the mutation is uh, this dragon after release, stun again. Uh, I would not recommend, I would go for normal type than dragon type. Yeah, I will definitely go for the power up. Yep. <laughs> now let's go for the buff i think dance and boost 40 percent special attack 30 percent speed the new one is all i dragon pokemon skill power increase 30 percent okay it's like a buffer for for dragon types uh then you have uh, for three rounds all i pokemon decrease 20 percent fey type dragon type and ice type damage taken cannot be removed which is cool uh skill power increase and defense increase do not work with other of course it does not stack so he does have now like this is like a dragon uh but he sadly do not buff uh attack he just buff defenses and decrease the uh, all, the the opponent's defense so sadly but it's uh, definitely go for this one if you are going to be using him attack foe with electric punch and probably paralyze, deal fire type, definitely go for the fire type, and burn enemy each round lose, yeah, definitely go for this. So you go for this, go for this, then uh, I have to pick, I, I'll go, personally I'll go with the power up here, 
So yeah, so this has been it. Uh, since uh, you guys have uh, requested this, now we have done it. We've covered all of them. In another tutorial, we will try to actually uh, share a tutorial on how to uh, work with scale breakthroughs and whatever, how to uh, do this stuff here. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this and cheers.